In my 12-year-old life, I have had three different father figures. So my idea of that isn't going to be the same as yours or a normal person's, and that's okay. When I turned 11, my father had just gone out of jail, and his mom thought it would be a good idea to surprise me. Big mistake. The first time I'd ever seen him, he just hopped out of the shower. He had a towel on, I swear. I was told he was my aunt's friend, and then he asked me, do you know who I am? I said no, and he told me he was my dad. I was sitting on the ground laughing because I was in shock and didn't know what else to do. When I calmed down, we went for a walk. He asked me all these questions. I had eagerly answered all of them because I had questions too. Maybe I don't remember all the silly questions I had, but I had them. I had lists full of them. That was trip number one. Now trip number two was with my uncle and my friend. We went out to eat at a lodging place and then watched Utopia. And that was trip number two. Now trip number three never came around. I never heard from him again. For a whole year, I felt like it was my fault he left, like I did something wrong, but that's not the truth. I did nothing to make him feel unwanted. Maybe I have pushed people away before, but that's not the case with this. On September 10, 2009, my custody was taken over and handed to my grandparents. Up until July 5, 2018, they had full custody over me. I was raised in Daytona Beach, Florida with all of my friends and family. My grandpa was my only father figure growing up which I still have a lot to do. On the weekends, we would always go to the beach with my friends. One thing I will never forget is he would always lose his sunglasses. After school, we had this thing for parents that worked late. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he would pick me up and take me to get McDonald's or Taco Bell or something like that. Every Valentine's Day, I would get chocolate, cards, flowers, teddy bears, you name it. When I had a bad day, he was always there to cheer me up. When I had math I didn't understand, he always helped me until I got it. He did everything a normal dad would do with the name of Grandpa. On July 5th, 2018, I moved to Kentucky with my mom and my stepdad. He has three kids who are now my siblings. I grew up an only child, so siblings are a whole new thing to me. I have an 18-year-old brother in the military, a 15-year-old brother who plays soccer and is really hyper, and a six-year-old sister named Taylor. She's special needs and I've never met her before. Having a father figure who stepped up has been really important to me because he's here full time. If he ever leaves, who knows what will happen to my point of view of that. But let's hope that never happens. Most people won't ever say things like that. But when you've watched it happen before, there's always that thought in the back of your mind that makes you feel uncertain. My figure of that will always be different, and that's the truth. But it's a part of who I am today. It's made me really aware and on my feet. Thank you.